So hi guys, this is Mad, and I'm again back to answer some more queries that we have got. So um, let's start without wasting much time. So the first query that I have got is like, uh, sir, how to do revision? So okay, for revision, I will tell you that first of all, it's actually individual's choice, and you are the best judge of yourself because you know that what is the process that suits you better. For example, if you take my example, what I used to do was. I used to make notes, but in that notes, it was not like it, it, it was not like a very detailed note. It was the important formulas or important points that I should remember definitely before the start of the exam. So like those kind of notes I used to, uh, I, I used to make for each and every subject. But whereas if you take um, Amit, as he told in the previous videos also that he does not used to make notes. He just used to uh, go through that material and just simply remember it. So uh, I won't say that that method is good or my method is good, but I knew that if I was not making notes, then there might be a chance that I could forget the formulas. So it's up to you that what you want. The only thing I can suggest is that yes, if you want to make notes, don't make a very detailed note that you are not able to revise it fully before the exam. Make such kind of note that the main topics and the main formulas that are definitely covered. So that is the way you can revise your uh, syllabus the second query that i have is sir uh, uh, coaching notes are they reliable or not at first don't just jump on the coaching notes first study yourself from the standard textbooks once you have the clear idea when your once your concepts are clear then you can refer those notes if you're taking from for example your friend's note or from the coaching institute then they are written by your friend he was present in the class and he was writing that note or if you're taking coaching note then those teachers were teaching in the class and based on the same thing they have made their notes also so if you are not attending the class just using the notes then i think it won't be that much beneficial so the only thing that i want to say is ki aap sabse pehle standard textbook se padhiye apne concepts ko clear kariye and then if you want to refer the notes, then you can refer, but don't directly jump on the notes. Next question I have is, uh, sir, uh, how to make concepts clear? So see, uh, what I will tell you is, whenever you are studying something, study in such a way that uh, at instantly at that moment, you are able to relate that theoretical thing from a practical thing. I'm not saying that you just study something theoretically and yet you just go on doing some practical of it that okay many a padai theoretically theory uh, theory padli as a practical kar leta hon nahi nahi aisa nahi bol raha hon but lekin jab bhi aap us theory ko padho to usko relate karne ki koshish karo ki practically is example ke saath mai isko relate kar sakta hon this is the best way that you can make concepts and refer good standard books don't refer uh, uh, very local supply books and also you can refer in uh, NPTEL lectures as we have told in our previous video. Okay, so the next query uh, I have is, can I prepare for GATE and IS simultaneously? Then I would say yes, you can prepare because the subjects, the material that you have to cover is almost same. I'm not saying exactly same, but almost same. In IES, yes, you have to do the GS portion that is extra in IES. But it's not like sir, I'm studying for gate, so how can I do IES? Or I'm studying for IES, so how can I do gate? Yes, definitely you can study both of them together. They have a little bit of difference in their uh, syllabus. But technically, there's not so much difference. Like uh, Amit gave gate, uh, he secured an ordinary rank 1. Now he's going to give IES, uh, I think his paper is on 1st of uh, July. So he has prepared for IES and he just went and give gate. Then the second point is, kya main IES ke liye prepare kar sakta hoon while in, while I'm in MTech in IIT? Yes, definitely. Uh, see, uh, actually, mera hi roommate tha, jo ki IIT Khadakpur mein tha. And uh, he, he is now an IES officer and he used to study while doing his MTech in IIT Khadakpur with me. So yes, definitely you can do that. Time mil jata hai, yes. Ye zarur hai ki aapko extra mehnat karni padegi, aapko extra effort dena padega. Lekin time mil jata hai and definitely, definitely you can prepare for that. The next question is, uh, sir, which topic to leave and which topic to study? So see guys, if you go to the website of GATE, 
or IES, the syllabus is already given there that what are the topics that are being covered in there. So for example, if I take the example of gate, go through the syllabus of gate. Now, after going to the syllabus, see the previous year papers and see which topics were asked and see the percentage. Okay, so for example, from thermodynamics, 30%, fluid mechanics, 20%, mathematics, 30%. So like this, the questions were asked from these topics. If you see also, then thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, strength of material, theory of machines, mathematics, these are the main subjects compared to the industrial engineering. So you can see that, okay, I have to focus on which subject, which topic by going through the previous year papers and by seeing the syllabus of the gate. Okay guys, so I will be shooting more videos with my civil engineering friend. I know you guys are requesting for civil engineering uh, videos and I will be shooting the videos with my friends who are in Bark, ISRO or some PSU. In the next video, uh, we will be telling you maybe about the interview questions that are asked in private companies. So please stay tuned. Please subscribe to this, this channel so that uh, we also get motivated. So guys, yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.